Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyTabHacks.com. So today we're going to overclock our Galaxy Tab 10.1 to 1.4 gigahertz. That's from 1.1. That's from 1 gigahertz to 1.4 gigahertz. So there's two processors, so it's going to go from 2 gigahertz pretty much total to uh, 2.8. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to run my Ubuntu again and see if uh, that improves the performance of it too. But first, let me do a limb pack before I overclock it. This is just stock and we'll do uh, run multi-thread and see what numbers we get. 53.41 right? 52 point something something 54.638 anyway we're gonna go download the overclocking file um, connect your uh, tab to your computer as a disk drive and make sure your USB debugging is checked off under applications uh, development so I'm gonna uncheck that because otherwise it won't connect as um, disk drive so let me go connect it to my computer real quick here and copy over the uh, the overclocking zip file I have links below um, all right and then after you copy over come back hi folks so I copy the file over the file name is boot dash cm underscore two six three six blah 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 dot zip so after that's copied um, you can just unplug that and we're gonna go uh, load up ROM manager and by the way if you're not uh, if you don't have your tab 10.1 rooted you're not gonna be able to overclock it of course uh, I have instructions on my galaxytabhacks.com step-by-step -step instructions for a retail white version and it should work on any uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 versions. I'm not sure about 10.1v. Um, anyway, go to uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery and reboot into recovery. Alright, and we're going to just zip that kernel uh, which is a 1.4 uh, gigahertz kernel. Hi folks, so once it's been rebooted, um, go back up your ROM if you want to. Uh, I have instructions, I'll have links on that video. And uh, what you want to do is just go to update, uh, apply update from SD card. Right there. Um, let me see if I can just. Okay. Uh, and then hit the power button. Right, and then I'll go to yes, install SD card update.zip. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Wait a minute. Go back and power button. Um, install zip from SD card. Sorry, not the apply update. And then hit the power button. And then choose zip from SD card, power button. And then go find. Uh, Go find the uh, file you copied over, which is the boot-cm. This is the overclocking file. And hit the power button. And then go say yes. Power button. And this will basically install the new kernel. And uh, when that's done, we can simply go back to... Uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, and power button. And reboot system now. And you can get the set CPU app uh, off the market. You can buy it, or you can go to. Uh, I have links on where you can get it. Get that, and then uh, put it in your the root directory of your uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1, and you can use a, a file explorer or some kind of file manager to open it. I I like to use Android Zip. You can download Android Zip off the market. And set CPU will allow you to overclock it because by installing the kernel, you're not actually getting any overclocking. You have to actually use the software. Anyway, let's actually go do that. Um, we're gonna connect our thing, and I've already mm -hmm. downloaded the set CPU app. And anyway, when you download the set CPU .zip, um, you can extract it with your favorite software. All you need is the .apk file. So I'm going to extract it real quick and you'll get a folder 
And what you're going to do is just copy it, right click, copy, or control C. And then you're going to browse to your tablet, which here. And just put it in the anywhere, but I just put it in the root directory. So that's copied over, and let's go back to our tablet. Now let's get out of the disk mode by uh, hitting the home button, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I, I don't know if there's a, is there a default file manager here? Um, I don't, I'm not sure, but the easier way to do it, oops, is just go to market and download this app called AndroZip. AndroZip. It's also, uh, it's actually a file uh, unzipper. You can open zip files with it, but get the free version, this one, and install it's free, right? And this one also is great file manager, so it doubles as a um, unzipper plus file manager. That's why I like this one. All right, when that is done, we're gonna open it, go open up the, uh, the open. We go find the APK, continue uh, down here. Let me give you a close-up. So, uh, set CPU is right there. So I'm gonna press on it and hit install and install. If you get an error that you can't uh, install it, there, there's a setting under applications you can allow third-party programs. That's what you gotta do. Anyway, let me just a camera here for the. The moment of truth and uh, 0.4 gigahertz and hit auto uh, speeds recommended this the middle one and then hit OK and it's gonna restart and ask you for uh, permission say allow and continue and you can see um, a little bit closer here. You see now you can overclock it to 1.2 and 1.4 and it's on demand which means um, when you actually need that power it's going to go up so it doesn't waste your battery life um, so it's, it ha it's on demand but you can change that also by making it performance then it's going to run at 1.4 gigahertz. Just for our Limpack testing let's leave it there. And I'm gonna go open up Limpack and how much that has changed things. So I'm gonna run multi-thread and see. Oh, look at that. So I was getting 54 something. Now I'm getting almost 80, 79, 81. So my tablet is almost running. That means uh, from 55 to 80, that's uh, 25. Um, 25 divided by 54. That's almost 55% increase in uh, performance, which is uh, what I expected. Anyway, this is going to be awesome now. Uh, my tab 10.1 is overclocked. And by the way, this uh, kernel has only been tested on stock 3.1. Uh, and I'm not sure about 3.0. I'm sure it will work on 3.0, but stock rooted ROMs. So if you have aftermarket ROMs, it might break your device. But, you know, so long as you back up your device, your ROM, using a ROM manager, you should be fine. If something goes wrong, just flash that back. Anyway, this is awesome. That's how you overclock it. I'm um, getting a lot faster speeds. And I'm going to go play with it, but uh, it's pretty stable. And from what I can tell, it's, you know, it's awesome. So that's how you overclock your... Uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 to uh, 1.4 gigahertz, dual 1.4 gigahertz. And thanks uh, to the guys at uh, DroidBasement.com. Those guys are the one who made uh, this uh, available for everyone. Don't forget to donate to the guy at DroidBasement.com um, if you feel like this has improved your Tab 10.1 experience. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that subscribe button. Um, thanks, y'all. And we'll have more cool hacks. And I'll have the updated video of the Ubuntu running on 1.4 GHz dual core.